We have The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This is directed by Francis Lawrence, who directed the original Hunger Games. And he had also directed uh, a movie that I really like. Oh, it? one of the more underrated. Oh, I Am Legend. I Am Legend, yeah. In Constantine. I know a lot of people like Constantine, too. Red Sparrow. Red which Sparrow, one? yeah. This guy's in... a beast. Yeah, man. This guy's this guy's got, got some real chops. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'll take this one first. So yeah, go this got a 7-2. And, you know, so many years later... Um, we decide to have a prequel to the the, the highly successful Hunger Games um, trilogy, even though it was four movies. Uh, this, I didn't really go into this excited. You know, I was really kind of Damn. nervous going into it. Um, however, the kid who you might have remembered from the Billy the Kid series, who plays Billy the Kid, Tom Blythe, who plays... Which is out now, by the way. Season two is out now. Yeah. On MGM Paramount. He plays Snow, right? President Snow from the the Jennifer Lawrence version. Yeah. Now Don is, Donald Southern Donald Sutherland's character for Right. So this is his sort of how he went from being this young uh in the capital, rich, entitled in the in the first district, how he came to become the President Snow that we know. And it also has like the, not the first Hunger Games ever, but like the 10th installment, but they're still working out all of the details and the kinks and trying to figure out how they keep pushing that forward. Meanwhile, half of society is like, is it necessary? Do we really want it? And so they, they also have to convince um, the populace that that this is an actual good thing that they should continue with. It, I could, be the was, it could be the last one. Sure. Could be the last one. Um, I thought that he stole the show. He looks like a young Chris Martin of Coldplay, and he looks and acts and is brilliant in this film. Like he drew my attention the whole time. Yeah. So about um, Lucy Gray, uh, who was played by Rachel Ziegler, she was fine. Um, she didn't really blow me out of the water like Viola Davis always does. Um, her character, I thought, was a bit over the top at first but then you know as the movie progresses you start to understand that okay this is who she is and so you start to yeah. appreciate it a lot more yeah. um peter dinklage is good in it i think that his character was not as um prevalent in the on screen time but tom blythe is the is the star of this show now sure. my only critique of this film because it was very good um, and I enjoyed it a lot and I can't wait for other ones because they have to at this point. I thought that building up to um, the Hunger Games was great. I thought the actual Hunger Game uh, competition was great. Um, and then the last act happens and it happens so fast. Like it just, it just burns through at the end. Um, I almost want that to be more of 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 this film than than the, the first two acts. Like I really wanted that third act to be drawn out. I wanted to see more of Snow and his ascension. Um, it just kind of happened so quick. Well, I think there's still. I think that's like you're saying. There might be the sequel, and that's the sequel, um, right? But they go from his exile to basically back at the capital so quick. You yeah. know what I mean? It just. In terms of screen time, it, it just happens sure. really fast. And I think that, and obviously you're adapting from a book. So I'm sure in the book, and I haven't read the book, so people who read the book, please don't get on my case about it. I'm sure that they they kind of have things played out properly. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic movie. Um, go see it. 7-2 on IMDb. Which is yeah, 7-2. Yeah, I, I agree a lot with what you're saying. Um, kind of the same thing. I was not looking forward to this. I was not a huge fan of The Hunger Games um i don't think i saw the last two i may have seen the first two i don't remember to be honest that just shows you my level of don't give a shit about these films i mean uh, the first one is great second one first is good. Was okay the, i'm not even like a huge no nah, the first one was was innovative it was good it was okay it was okay i felt like i've seen it before in a different movie but anyways irregardless irregardless um that just shows i was not looking for it however sure. i thought this was the best out of all of them um this was the most entertaining i thought this was uh, a better constructed film the characters i thought were just um 
better developed again like the the sequence of how everything tied together the stakes felt a little higher um in a good way and yeah i just i just thoroughly enjoyed this film i just thought it was a better crafted film uh than the first one which i started to rewatch as well right and uh, i agree with with tom blythe i so i saw him so in, in this Billy the Kid series, and I was just like, you know what, I like this guy. And at first, I was kind of like feeling him out, only because the first couple episodes in the series, of the Billy Kid series, were slower. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, oh man, they're really focusing on some of the stuff we barely know information about. Um, I kind of wanted them to jump faster into the other stuff. The young but, gun. Yeah. But anyways, so I, I was, this guy, I had this guy on my radar, and then I knew he was in this, and I'm like, all right, cool, I want to see this guy. And he, yeah, like Pete said, he just absolutely crushed it. And I think this kid has got a big, big, big future ahead of him. I think, you know, cause I've been thinking about like, who's the next real star out of this, out of the young, you know, early twenties, mid twenties people. And and He's I think this, this guy could be it. I think he could be the next kind of like action, you know, action drama kind of a guy. Sure. Um, <clears throat> Timothy, what's his face? It's probably the other one. Timothy Chamalay. Yeah. So, you know, those those two guys are probably uh, some of the bigger guys. Um, but yeah, check this out. Highly recommend it. And um, yeah, if there's another one, uh, I, I, I especially if Francis Lawrence is involved, I, I definitely could be. Uh, oh, if, if he's involved, I'm, I'm in. Yeah, for sure. 